Welcome back guys my name is Ashwin and you are watching Ashwin Tech Mind. Today in this video we are going to see how we can deploy our Laravel app to cloud.laravel.com. So without wasting any time let's get started. So the, so the wait is basically over guys we have cloud.laravel.com which is launched by Laravel team. So if you go to the pricing we can see here multiple plans like sandbox production business and enterprise. Let me show you the sandbox plan which provides us unlimited application with unlimited deployments. Then we have the production plan which cost us $20 per month. Then we have business, then we have enterprise. If you want to explore more about these plans, you can go to the documentation also. So let's deploy one more application today. So uh, you just need to click on sign up and you'll, you, just need, you just need to provide a couple of information like name, email, password and confirm password. After that, it will send you a mail where you can verify your mail. And after that, you need to provide a couple of details like credit card and the CVV. It will not charge you immediately because if you are using the Sandbox account, you will be able to deploy the applications for free. So after logging into the dashboard, you will be able to see the couple of screen like overview applications and if you go to the documentation of this particular cloud.laravel.com, you will be able to see it provides the support for web sockets, pusher, laravel, reverb and it also supports various databases like postgres and mysql. However, in the sandbox plan, you will see some limitation with the databases. So before deploying the application, just make sure you have the GitHub repo set up with the Laravel project that you want to deploy. So I have this GitHub repo with me, which is Laravel View Starter Kit. And if you go back to the Applications tab, Resources tab, these are still empty. Uh, let's go to the Overview tab and click on New Application. Uh, let's select the repository from this particular drop-down, which is Laravel View Starter Kit. And here you can select the region, and you can also modify the name of your applications. So just click on new application. And your new application will be created. So just to make sure the deployment is not created, the application is created only here. So now you can see various sections here like edge network domains and app. And if you want to add some worker, you can just click on add worker cluster and you can specify the name, size, etc. Let's say if you want to create a database, you just need to click on add database and click on create a database. And here you can select the version and it is showing me that database compute start at $0 per month. So I think it's paid. Let's select the MySQL over in the drop down. So go to the drop down and select MySQL 8 and click on create database. So click on create database cluster and let me wait for it. And now it is showing me that, that, that developer preview capacity reached. So I think it's not free anymore in the sandbox. Let's go to the Postgres and click on create database. And let me check if we can create. Yeah, the database cluster is created. And if I click on this particular thing, uh, hold on, just click on database. It is, it is created, right? So click on it to see what we can do with this. Here we can manage the number of compute units that we want in our database. So more the number of the compute units, more powerful your database will be. And it will be more efficient depending on the number of compute units. So just uh, right now I'm just detaching the database because I don't need it from my application. It will also provide you add a bucket option. So click on add bucket and create a bucket and you can uh, use this particular feature if you want to store images and uh, other kind of things. Now just click on the application name and you can see the default environment which is master. And click on deploy it will start the deployment now now in this screen you can see the logs for your build and the deployment if you want to create one more environment like staging or master just click on the new environment option over here and you can select your specific branch for me it's staging and click on new environment and it will create another environment for staging now let's go to the deployments to see uh, the status of our current deployment. So I think it's still running. So let's just wait for it to run till then we can explore the environments we have master and staging and if you want one more environment you can just create the environment from this screen also. Now let's check the status of our build again. Um, yeah, it's done now. So just click on this and here you can see the build logs and deployment logs and 
it's still running yeah now it's finished completely now it should show me the visit site option yeah so just click on visit and it will be yeah this is the site that we have deployed right now and you can access this just go to the commands tab and if you want to run any custom command like php adds and migrate and other kind of commands you can just type the command over here and you can click on run command in the log section you can see the logs for your for your application so just in case if you face any kind of errors you can just go to this to this tab here you can see the matrices and here you can see the settings so here i think you can select the branch also yeah here you can select the branch also and let me scroll it up and yeah here i can define the environment variables so if you are using any kind of third party services you can just paste the those credentials over here so in the upcoming videos we are going to see how we can set up work os2 for the authentication in laravel 12 so if you are excited about that please do let me know till then goodbye and take care